testing. Hello guys, Popcorn245 here. And if you've been online the last 24 hours, you've probably been seeing a lot of these. So, I wanna make my own cringe thumbnail. If I haven't made it up already. Now I can detach here. This is my unplug point. <laughs> but Bobby, I hear you saying, I don't have any graphic software. Well, that's fine. You can always download like a free program like GIMP, or you can use an online program like PhotoP, or you can use an old degraded program like me and use fireworks. So now that I have my idea. I need to make a cringe background. <coughs> All right, so now that I've got my idea, uh, I need a picture of my ugly mug so that I can actually put it on the thumbnail. So I've got this nice white backdrop set up here and some lighting behind the camera to help capture this screenshot and then it'll make it real easy to crop it out. I'm gonna make some funny faces in a short video clip and then I'll find the best shot after I'm done. And I've got a lazy eye, so I'm just gonna try to use that to my advantage. So let's see if I can. <laughs> now you can take the files off the device, transfer them over to the computer and open them with VLC player or Premiere Pro or some kind of program that lets you take a screenshot and then find that spot you want and boop. All right, now that we've got our file on our computer, we can go and find the perfect screenshot by scrubbing through the video and then selecting to the right spot. <laughs> oh, that about does it right there. <laughs> All right, so now we've got our, our money shot. Oh my God, take snapshot. So now we can open up the file inside of our graphics program and we can do the same thing that I did in the how to make much wild thumbnails video, link above. And we're gonna just select the background using our magic wand tool, um, selecting all of the uh, backdrop. And then now I can use the a slight feather on this guy and then I will go ahead and delete the background. So there we go, step one, kinda ish done. Now I'm gonna cut just the area I'm gonna use, this right here. And then we're going to go ahead and just delete the background. And we're gonna paste this guy in the middle and I'm gonna click fit canvas so that now we've got it on a nice clean empty backdrop. All right, cool. Now that I've got my image saved, um, we can work on the VR headset. So let's go ahead and pop open the browser and let's find this new stupid piece of crap. Apple VR headset. Yeah, it's gonna be this goofy looking potato bean looking thing. <laughs> awesome. So now we can go ahead and say, save image as, and we will steal the living crap out of this. Web P to PNG. Cloud convert, let's go. Indexing sucks. Okay, so let's convert that to PNG. Great, sounds good. Convert. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, download. Okay, cool, now we've got a PNG file. So now we're gonna open this with the graphics program. And we need to do the same practice. Let's take the background out. Shazam, oh look at that, it's fucking gone. Oh no, look at that, there's a white border. We'll get rid of it. And this time, since this has got such a clean background, let's go ahead and change this from feather to anti-alias so that it doesn't make that weird feathery line around it. And there we go. Save this guy, and let's go ahead and paste it top of my dumb face. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Now I just need a little rotation. Doesn't it go like, does it go over the nose or on? Yeah, it goes, it goes, uh, yeah, it's like a fucking pair of goggles. 
And they're probably a little bit bigger, but this will actually be great for the illusion or for the cringe. Okay, so now I'm gonna duplicate myself, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a mask. So most art programs have like a masking ability. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and open up our layers panel and we're gonna hide the headset for a second. We're gonna grab the second layer of me. And in this program, we can go to creative auto vector mask commands. Yeah, creative add auto vector mask, add vector mask, auto vector mask. This one, this, click this thing. Um, then we're going to do a spiral and we're probably gonna do like a, a radial, one where we can control uh, an ellipsoid or whatever that you call this. And we're gonna be able to kind of control that. And we won't be able to see it until we take the background underneath, otherwise there's just two copies of me. So down here we can edit the, the gradient and this is like most programs is how they're gonna work. They've got like the colors up here which are gonna be like all black and then you can like edit the opacity down here or at the top here you can edit the opacities. These are gonna be 100% opaque but the colors are gonna go from, from white to black and that's gonna set the mask up here. So if I pull these around, you'll see it's gonna edit. And that's kind of more what we're looking for. There we go. So it's just the eye portion that you see in the headset. So we're gonna like get it. And it's very ghosted. So like we're gonna really get that. All right, now let's go ahead and put our VR mask underneath this layer. And then let's turn it on. My face is inside the VR, the VR headset and it sells it incredibly well for such a quick edit. So now we turn that back on. We'll see. And now we've got a pretty cringe thumbnail. But what would be funnier, um, so let's make the, the face, this layer, just a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna do control T and I'm gonna like basically make it bigger. So it's gonna make it kind of look dumb. Now I'll open up Figma. I'll come in here, I'll make a new copy of one of my other ones and update the number. And now let's go ahead and place that image by going to file, place image or video. And now we can go into our assets, images, and now we can pull up that Bobby image. There it is. And we can place it. And voila. Okay, so there's the text, how to make a cringe thumbnail. Let's put my logo over here. We'll put fireworks up at the top and now we're looking good now we're looking fung and shui you know what I'm saying now I'll take it and I will export it so I can use it for other programs or to put on YouTube for the thumbnail so there you have it guys I make a cringe thumbnail in a matter of minutes. And all it took was a crappy $3,500 headset. So hopefully you learned something and uh, you know what to do. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Two, four, five, out.